Last set of problems, finding rates in context. We're dealing with words. So we got a few more steps. Write the slope in context. When possible, reduce the slope to lowest terms. In other words, we want to have a unit rate. It's going to be per something. In other words, a one in the denominator. We want to identify the slope and do not skip steps. All right, so the satellite space explorer flies uh, 110,400 miles in 24 hours. Find the rate of change. Our final answer is going to be miles per hour. So just to give you a context of this, is that if it says miles per hour, I'm going to take the miles that they gave us in this problem, and I'm going to express it over the hours. So literally, it said right here, the mileage, or how far we're going, is 110,400. So I'm going to put that right here. You could put miles with it. I'm going to leave it. I already have the context over here. So that's going to be 110,400 per uh, 24 hours. So we're just going to have to go ahead and divide this whole thing by 24. Now I know that 24 divided by 24 is going to simplify to 1. Let's just calculate what 110,400 divided by 24 is. All right. So we had 4,600. So uh, let's put it in context. M is equal to 4,600. And remember the context. That's going to be miles per hour or per one hour. So this thing is flying along. 4600. Uh, green check mark is good. Red X is not bad. It's an opportunity to learn, but we got it right. Let's see if I can find. Um, so here's the one type of problem where they're going to give you two different values. You're simply going to have to divide to get the unit rate and put it in context. But there is one other type. Let me see if I can find it. OK, here's another, another type. So it's still under finding rates in context with words. Um, so again, find the slope in context when possible, et cetera. Same, in, same instructions. Now the difference here, it says a health club charges a $25 one-time sign-up fee. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the, the, those values, just write it over here so we can give it some context. So this $25, this is a one-time fee. Um, and then it says, and a monthly membership of $44 per month. So this is $44 per month. So we got two different values. Now let's go back to slope intercept form. Recall that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Uh, the letter m stands for our slope. That's our rate of change. And our b is our y intercept. But if you recall back to these equations, when I said we graph these, the mnemonic I gave is I said is think of b as where you begin. Put a dot on the y-axis and then move with m. Again, begin with b, move with m. So over here, when I think about that, where do I begin? Well, I begin with my one-time fee. You walk into the health club, they're going to want a $25 just to sign up. And then the, where you're going to go is you're going to start paying $44 per month. So again, this is a one-time fee. That's our B value. And the $44 is our slope. So to write this, although you don't have to I'd write it like this, I'm just showing you in context the slope-intercept form so you know where the two numbers go. And where you know the, where the numbers go, you have a context and you can answer the question accurately. So my uh, rate of change is going to be $44 for every month, or X in this case. Add the $25. And that's the equation that it basically we're writing using those two numbers. Now to answer the question, our M in this case is the number 44. But remember, the calculations are done for you. That's our unit rate, which means if that's our unit rate, it's going to be 44 over 1. Now all you have to do is apply a context. Well, that's $44 per month or per or simply one month. And then I would probably just go ahead and add the decimal and two zeros just to give it more of a true money context. We always have tenths and hundreds. And that's pretty much it. So you'll have those two type of problems, $44. Good to go.